Hello, and welcome back to our Bible story time. I'm so glad that you could join us today. We're reading the stories from the Lectionary Story Bible by Ralph Milton, and we're so grateful that Ralph has given his permission for his stories to be shared. Today we're reading Going to School, which is based on Matthew 16, verses 21 to 26. There's so much to learn, Mary of Magdala said to Jesus one day. You are teaching us so many things about helping and caring and loving. It's hard sometimes to be your friend. That's right, said Jesus, and I won't always be here to help you. That's the part I don't like, said Peter. What do you mean, Peter, asked Mary. I don't like it when Jesus talks about leaving us. That's why I'm teaching you these things, Peter. When the time comes and I must leave you, you'll be ready. Peter was almost ready to cry. He stood up and walked away from where the other disciples were sitting. He found a rock to sit down on. Peter just wanted to be by himself for a little while. Mary and Jesus and the others kept talking for a while. Then Jesus got up and walked to where Peter was sitting. He put his hand on Peter's shoulder. Peter looked up at Jesus. Why do you have to say that, Jesus, Peter said. I hate it about when you talk about going to Jerusalem. I hate it when you say that people there might take you and kill you. I hate it. That night, Jesus and his friends sat around their campfire. They had some fish and some bread to eat, but they didn't talk very much. Try not to be afraid, Jesus said to his disciples. I know that's hard, but please try, because some bad things are going to happen. I don't know exactly what those bad things are, but I know I have to go to Jerusalem, and I know the rulers there are afraid of me, so they will try to hurt me. Mary stood up and put some sticks of wood on the fire. The light from the fire showed the tears in her eyes. I'm asking you to do a hard thing, said Jesus. I want you to leave your families, to leave your friends. I'm asking you to leave all those things behind and come and follow me. It will be hard and you will cry. But if you do this, you will find something much more wonderful. Jesus sat quietly for a while. None of the disciples said anything. They were thinking about what Jesus had said. Here's a really hard thing to understand, said Jesus. He was smiling now. If you try to hold on to your good things in your life, you will lose them. But if you lose them, you will find new things in your life that are much better. I still don't understand, said Peter. I know, said Jesus. But think about what I have said. Think about it over and over. It may take a long time but you will understand. Sometimes the things that Jesus says are so hard for us to understand. When we're kids and when we're adults, even when we're really old adults, sometimes things that Jesus says are hard to understand. But we have to keep thinking about them and keep trying to work out in our heads what they might mean. Keep asking questions just like Thomas does, just like Peter does. And that's when we start to learn all the things that Jesus has to teach us. I'm so glad that you could join us today, and I look forward to having you come tomorrow. Bye for now.